percent weights can be used to find the mass of a specific element in a given sample of a molecule. Say that Fe2O3 is 69.94% iron, what would be the mass of iron in a 2 gram sample of Fe2O3? One of the most important things to remember is that we need to use percent in a mathematical form. So when we report percentages as 69.94%, that is not what we use in a mathematical calculation. We need to divide by 100. So representing a percentage in mathematical form, 69.94% would be written 0.6994%. So we need to divide by 100 or your answer is going to be off. To answer this question, we take the total weight of our molecule, which was 2 grams of Fe2O3, and then we multiply by the percentage of iron inside of Fe2O3. We multiply together and we get that in that 2 gram sample, 1.40 grams is due to iron. Because the summation of all the percent weights of each element in a compound should equal 100%, we can use this fact to speed up some of our calculations. Once again, we know Fe2O3 is 69.94% iron. We can easily come up with the percent oxygen by simply taking 100% and then subtracting off the percent iron from that. What will be left is the percent oxygen, or at least a very close estimate of it. This is also true for the masses. So the summation of all the masses of elements in a compound should equal the mass of a given sample. We've already determined that in a 2 gram sample of Fe2O3, 1.40 grams is due to iron. We then can ask how many grams of oxygen does it now contain? If we take the total mass, 2.0 grams, and subtract off the mass due to iron, 1.40 grams, we get the mass of oxygen contained in our original sample, 0.60 grams 